What is going on guys, Shinigami here, and today I'm back on Fighter Z, trying to have some fun, you know. I picked up Bardock and Broly, so characters on blue team are my characters. Um, I had to record the match um, in the replay thing because when I was trying to record it, you know, while I was playing, for some odd reason the recording stopped, so thankfully the developers added this feature in. You know, because it actually helps people like me who get caught up in inconveniences. So, yeah, this is the match. Um, and my commentator is Vegeta. So, uh, try to uh, enjoy. Now, I'm still getting used to the game. And I'm really liking the way Bardock and Broly play. And Gohan. Because, you know, Gohan was... Uh, yeah, Gohan's still my main. I think this might be my main team for a while. And, um, out of all my, uh, teams in Fire Force, I can concur, and I can concur, I can conclude that the most, um, the most insulting thing a person can ever do to you is, um, uh, they, they will wait for their intro to play, and then when it gets to your intro, they'll skip it. They're douchebags. And it pisses me off, because, you know, I, li I like some good commentary, you know. I like characters meeting, because, you know, one match I had, uh, I was with Bar I was playing with Bardock, and I fought a Goku Black player. I should have known he was a piece of shit, you know, just because he was playing with Goku Black, but, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. So, um, you know, Goku Black says something, you'll die with the rest of your kind. I was waiting for Bardock to respond, because I was pretty fucking racist. Goku Black, you know, someone being black and all, you know, he shouldn't be fucking racist. Doesn't make any fucking sense, you know. But anything, anyways, um, I was waiting for Bardock's response, but nope, this fucker said, oh, ho, 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 you don't get a response, I'm just gonna fucking stick you, because you fucking suck, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to kick his ass, however, he won the match, so, um, I didn't do much ass kicking, but I did do an ass pull right here. Look at this shit. Yay! 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 And. Mega <laughs> But I, I get hyped when I pull off an ultimate. Um, main problem with ultimates in this game, they come, out, they come out instantaneously. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened there because that made no damn sense at all. Because I should have been hit by that Kamehameha. I should have been hit. But you know, I didn't. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but I mean, it didn't make any sense. I hate it when it happens to me, so I, I gotta call it out when it happens to someone else. Anyways, um, what about the ma Oh yeah, I think him losing Cell is what turned the tide of this fight. Because as you saw, um, he was kicking my ass in the beginning. And then when Cell got fucked in the ass, this man just uh, apparently lost all control of his thumbs. I shouldn't say that, because this man is more than likely better than me. I just got a lucky win and left. I mean, I don't do that intentionally, but when I'm recording, I don't like to fight the same people over and over again. And I kind of like to put things out uh, quickly. Uh, well, I like to record quickly, because I haven't put anything out quickly in a while. But I like to record matches quickly. So, uh, yeah, I, and people don't like seeing someone fight the same person over and over again. So I just look for a different person to fight, and um, yeah. Uh, I fight him, and then I do the same thing over and over again. Sometimes I get hate messages. Uh, I usually tell them like what's going on. Sometimes, depending on if the message is good or not. And also, um, sometimes I don't. Because you have to think about it this way. If someone leaves a match as angry as you may get, they're not obligated to give you a rematch. I don't know who thought of that invisible rule or whatever, but it's not a thing. No one is obligated to give you a rematch. You all have to get over it at some point. Because, I mean, let's be honest. People, people who complain about it, they do it too. Come on now. You, you'll get over it. You'll live. It's, it's the fire Z, you know. It's whatever. I'm, I'm going to try my hardest this video not to uh, not to talk about the fire Z versus Xenoverse fans. Even though I just talked about it, so I just it fucking purpose. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try my hardest not to. But if something pisses me off, then oh, it's oh well. But one thing I want to touch up on was I thought I usually, um, whenever I have one character low, I prefer to switch to them so that I can um, do the most damage with them and come out with the W or just take the L with that character so the other characters who have higher health don't get uh, damage. Because as you notice, my Bardock was. Pretty healthy. He was looking pretty healthy there. He was eating his vegetables and shit. So um, I just didn't switch to him because I knew that 
If I did, there was a chance that that guy could have turned the tides of the fight and taken out Bardock, and then I would have been left with unhealthy Gohan, and then even if I activated my Sparkling Blast, then he still could have taken me out because my health wouldn't have regenerated quick enough, in my opinion. I don't think it would have regenerated quick enough for me to actually come out with a win. So I just took my chances there with Gohan. And thankfully you can't evade out of combos in this game because if you could, then I would have lost that. Or I wouldn't have lost the fight. I'm more of, I would have just lost Gohan. And I don't like losing Gohan, you know? Gohan's pretty cool. I like him. You know, we, we just won't talk about what happened in, um, we won't talk about what happened back in the Freezer, the Resurrection F saga of Dragon Ball Super or the movie where Gohan got dicked down. We won't talk about that, you know, but you know what they say, uh, if you're, if you're not with them at their uh, worst, you don't deserve them at their best, and Gohan is at his best right now, so I, I definitely think I deserve Gohan at his best because, you know, I've been, I've been rocking with Gohan since, uh, since, uh, Dragon Ball Z. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm Gohan fan, you know. You can't you can't tell me otherwise. I've been Gohan fan since day one. And I honestly, uh, speaking of characters, I didn't expect Bardock and Broly to be this good. Um, Broly has super armor. I don't know why they thought that was a good fucking idea. I don't use the super armor attacks, but I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to give super armor to Broly. But you know, whatever. I don't make the fucking game. I, I just don't understand why all, any fighting games, not just Fighter Z. But any fighter fighting games like Xenoverse 2 or For Honor, why they think it's a good idea to add super armor in fighting games, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I absolutely hate it. I never liked it in the first place. It's it's a cheap ass thing, and I hate using it, which is why I rarely use it. And I, I just I can't sleep well at night knowing that I just I just poised through someone's attacks. Like this is fucking Dark Souls. Broly has maximum poise, he's wearing fucking Havel armor right now. Thank god, we all know how awful Havel's armor is. Nobody in Dark Souls wears Havel's armor for the look. They're all wearing it for the poise. I don't know how I hit that guy there. I'm pretty sure he was blocking, I don't know how I hit him. But we all know, everyone in Dark Souls wears Havel's armor for the poise. No one actually likes it. Just throwing that out there, because, you know, I'm sick of people Oh, like, oh, I like Havel's armor. Yeah, but you do like Havel's armor because you can't get stunned, you fucking cuck. But, um, anyways, this isn't a Dark Souls video, but on the Dark Souls topic, I haven't played Dark Souls in a very long time. Mostly because my Dark Souls 1, uh, data was lost in the cloud or whatever, and I do like that combo. Yeet. Omega yeet. Um, but yeah, my Dark Souls information was lost in the cloud or whatever because I had to get a new Xbox and blah blah blah. The old one broke. Um,. So I never got to transfer it to the cloud. It's just sitting on my Xbox and I can't do shit about it. So what I have to do is, and this is Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 are fine. 2 unfortunately is fine. I don't like Dark Souls 2 at all. But anyways, um, yeah. So I'll, what I'll have to do is, did I hit it? Oh, I don't know how the fuck I didn't hit. But what I'll have to do pretty much is just wait for the, um, the Dark Souls remaster to come out. And once that comes out, then I'll be playing Dark Souls. Maybe I'll make a couple Arena Dark Souls videos again. I think I did that before, but I can't remember. But, um, I'll get on that when the game comes out. And then, maybe I'll play some boss fights. Who knows? Because I, I never fought Artorius in Dark Souls 1, like, the original version. I never fought Artori Artorius. Oh my god. Artorius. I never fought Artorius. So I would love to do that, and I think I will. Maybe I'll record it. Um... Because he's the most interesting boss in my opinion. No if answer bugs. Don't at me. Artorius is the most interesting boss. And Ornstein and Smo are the most annoying little shits in the fucking game. Don't at me. But anyways. That is all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this Fighter Z content. There will be more in the future. And yeah. That's all I got. Shinigami out guys. Later.